Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the correct values you should be getting from your receiver in order to calibrate the board for flying uh, your multi multi rotor. First, you connect your board, and I already have my receiver connected. You click start, you'll start to get values uh, or data coming in. Your throttle should be moving from you know, close to 900 all the way to 2000 in order for it to work correctly. Your roll channel the same, you know, from 900 over to 2000. And the same for yaw, 9 to close to 2000. And pitch, again, same thing. If your board does not get those signals from your transmitter sticks, then move them from 100% endpoint adjustment over to 120, 130% until you get the right range. If you don't have those ranges, then you cannot calibrate the board and you cannot um, activate the motors or turn the motors off. So you will need those values to work. The next thing I do for flying myself I limit the values to 70% on pitch and roll and I also implement a throttle curve. I leave yaw 100% so I can activate and deactivate the motors. But putting values at 70% gives me a very soft stable uh, craft to fly. If I flip my endpoints for my dual rate switches you'll see now my roll doesn't go to 900, it only goes to 1140 and maximum is 1180 on pitch 1160 maximum 1870 on my throttle curve that's 50% on my stick is 11, 1430, 50% if I go to 90% that's 90% there on the physical transmitter, if I move it to 90%, it only gives me 1770. If I go, the last 10% on the stick, it shoots up to 2000. That's because I have a flat curve right in the center. Using those values, I'm able to fly fairly smooth without the quadcopter responding aggressively. And that's it.